Alright guys, so here we are with my 12.5 Mini Recce concept build, which has evolved into my kind of jack of all trades. Uh, the new barrel that's on there is the, the Criterion Core Series 12.5. Uh, so far, I'm <clears throat> really, really basically falling in love with this damn barrel. Uh, it shoots so nice, it's gassed so well, it's very accurate, and um, as of now, we're about to hit the range for the final accuracy portion of my testing, so uh, let's go ahead and jump to the range portion. Alright guys, we're back at the range, and hopefully it is my last accuracy test and this is the criterion core 125 and we're here at the 100 yard range so if you guys have been following I've done this numerous times um, I don't have a camera set up down range because it's just a hassle to go down range stop it come back every time to do something you know and then I have to wait for other people to stop the range so this is the only view you're going to get, and then I'll tie in the uh, the results, <clears throat> and then uh, we'll take it from there. So first up is Norma. So this is the Norma uh, Golden Target Match, 69 grain load. So let's see how it does. Definitely doesn't like that load. Next up is the Manchester Match 69 Grain Sierra Match King Load. Let's see how this one shoots. Looks like a pretty good group. I think that third shot was a little low, but otherwise, pretty good. Right. Next up for the 69 grain loads are the Federal Premium 69 grain Sierra Match King. Yeah, it's almost too damn expensive to be messing up. Ooh, pulled that last one. Pulled that last one low. I should have known better because the uh, Mirage was starting to pick up. All right, I'm clear. Clear. Ugh. Pulled that last one. Should have waited for the Mirage to die down. Right. I'm going to pause it here while people set up their targets and then I'll tie back in. And we are back. Yeah, a little toasty. Alright. First up for the 77 grain loads are the AC 77 grain OTM. Shot this a lot. It's actually what it's zeroed for. Let's see how it performs. Good 
group. Aside from the first one being low. All right. Next up is PMC X Tac Match 77 grain OTMs. Fumbled that group up. Definitely fumbled that group. Next up is the Federal Premium 77 grain Sierra Match Kings. I've had mixed results with this throughout multiple platforms, so let's see how this one shoots. And that'll be the last of the premium loads. barrels a shooter all right so we'll go back to the bench and I'll tie in you see all the results already but we'll talk about it then all right uh, for shits and giggles I'm gonna run one more group of the x tac 77 grain OTMs and uh, I don't think I gave it a fair shake this last group. I did shoot it yesterday and I shot a phenomenal group. Um, it was the only group that really shot good. Um, and it's because I got a good a spot where cloud came through and was blocking out the sun and no mirage. So, let's see how this one shoots. All right, guys, so we are back from the range. Actually, I did two additional range trips. I didn't really film the first range trip. Um, I mean, I, I did technically, but it was kind of a shit show. The, uh, I went later in the afternoon, so the sun was high at my basically 11 o'clock, so I was washing out a lot of my view, and I didn't have my sunscreen with me or my sunshade for the, the optic, and uh, the mirage was really bad that day. Now, I did my best to shoot as well as I did. Now, I had two exceptional groups, and both of those times that I shot, I had uh, cloudy uh, overcast that had rolled through, so it blocked out the sun, no wind, and uh, I had no mirage at all. So, uh, I'll show you that real quick so here's the results from my fifth range trip so this guy right here I'll show you by each group so first off we have Norma Golden target 69 grain match 
that gave me a group of 1.912. The next group up was the Winchester Match 69 grain. Uh, it's basically a Sierra Match King bullet. That gave me 1.969. Followed that up with the Federal Premium Gold Metal Match. That's the 69 grain Sierra Match King. That gave me a 1.240. Pretty good group. Um, but again, by that time, I was already starting to fight with the Mirage. <sighs> Gave it a little bit to, to cool down. Came back in with the PMC X-Tac Match 77 grain OTMs. Overcloud, uh, cloudiness came through, blocked out the sun, no wind. Mirage was dead, so it was good. That printed 0.662 inches. Again, these are all at 100 yards. Then I followed up with the AC 77 grain OTM. The Mirage kicked back up. And I shot a 1.449 for that. And that was a six shot group because I thought I only shot four. And then I, I ran another round down range. And then I followed up after letting it uh, die down a little bit. The Mirage anyway, and with the Federal Premium uh, Gold Medal Match, that's the 77 Grand Sierra Match King, printed a .752 inch group. <clears throat> very, very good performance, um, but I wasn't happy with it, and I figured that I would go back out this morning and shoot another group. It was very cool. Uh, lows dropped into the mid-50s. By the time I got to the range, it was about 60 degrees, 58 to 60 degrees. Because I went as soon as it opened at 8 o'clock. And uh, it was a really great time shooting. I did have a little mirage, but nothing too bad. So um, hopefully this isn't all washed out. So starting up in the same order with the Norma Golden Target Match 69 grain load. That was printing a 1.975. So the barrel doesn't really like that. Um, ammo too much and it's pretty consistent at one up uh, just under two inches so that was 1.975 the previous group was 1.912 it is what it is uh, maybe that's just not a good group or a, a good ammo next up is the Winchester match 69 grain Sierra match king that was a hair over one inch so 1.101 or 1.010 sorry and uh, that improved drastically over yesterday, and that's because I didn't have any Mirage to combat and uh, or the sun washing out my lens or my glass. Moved over to the Federal Premium 69 grade uh, Gold Metal Match. That gave me uh, a 1.237. Now I put my first shot here. The next three shots here, and then my fifth shot was bad he back here, and I, I was having a pretty bad mirage. There was a guy waiting to go down range, so I kind of rushed that shot. I'm going to say that's on me, but it tightened up quite a bit um, in terms of this portion right here. But overall, on par with yesterday's group of 1.240, so... Um, you know, 1.240, 1.237. That's pretty good uh, consistency out of that ammo. Moved over. Technically, I shot out of order. I shot the AAC 77 grain next. So that one gave me a point or uh, 1.350. Still a really good group, but my four shot group here was in a 0 0.570. And then I pulled that last shot and I knew it. And I shouldn't have rushed it. I basically rushed that shot. Um, moved over to PMC x tac 77 grain OTM. And that's what I got. 1.494. And I had really bad vertical stringing. Um, again, I was having a little bit of uh, mirage issues. And I should have just waited to, uh, to shoot that group. But I circled back to that group again because I know it shoots better. Um, then I rounded out with the Federal Premium 77 grain uh, gold medal match, uh, Sierra Match King, and it printed a .997. So not as nice as yesterday, but again, a little bit of mirage, not too much, but still a 1MOA group out of that. Now, I did go back to the PMC x tac Match 77 grain OTM, and... That's what I got. 
0.707. So on par with yesterday's 0.662. So around a three quarter minute uh, ammo with this setup. So um, spent quite a bit of money <laughs> with this ammo. I don't, well, if I hadn't got the hookup from a buddy of mine, uh, Stumpy, check him out over at uh, Liberty Guns and Gear. If you're in the Northeast area of Pennsylvania, good shop, good dude. And uh, he he does right by the customer. So, um, but I spent quite a bit shooting, trying to really hone in and see how what the accuracy potential is of this barrel. And if Criterion that it lives up to the name, like the accuracy. And I think that this is clearly a one MOA gun um, with a better shooter or even better glass. Not that this is bad glass, this is actually excellent glass, but better magnification range. I would perform a little bit better. Um, but all in all, I think that I've concluded this accuracy portion. And then the next video that I'll follow up with will be the, the final overall review of this barrel. So, um, Highly impressed, especially with that PMC X Tac and the AC. AC being so cheap, it's what it's zeroed for, and uh, it shoots phenomenally. The PMC X Tac shoots phenomenally out of this. <clears throat> it's a it's a really good barrel, and then being chrome line on top of that, getting that longevity, it's it's a really good uh, really good barrel. That being said. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you have a Criterion Barrel, how has it performed for you? Do you like it? Has it fallen short of your expectations? And overall, um, what are your thoughts of Criterion as a whole? Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.